Chart properties is the heart and soul of OnePager. If you learn nothing else about OnePager, this is the most important concept you can master. Understanding what Chart Properties does is the key to you unlocking the efficiency that OnePager provides. The documents that OnePager creates are referred to as charts, so we've naturally called the settings the Chart Properties. Chart Properties contains high-level, data-driven settings that are originally defined by whichever template you select when you first build your chart. The settings in Chart Properties can always be adjusted after a chart has been built. It's very important to understand that Chart Properties does not contain one-off edits to individual tasks or milestones. So when you want to change the look and feel of your chart quickly, doing so with Chart Properties will be more efficient than trying to hand edit your chart like a PowerPoint slide. To get started exploring, go to the Home tab and click on the Chart Properties button. Before we start looking at the settings on each tab, let's look at the three buttons at the bottom. OK will apply your changes and return you to the chart. Apply will apply your changes but will keep chart properties open so that you can make additional changes. The only difference between OK and Apply is whether you want chart properties to stay open. Therefore, it's never necessary to click Apply before clicking OK. The Cancel button will close chart properties without making any changes, so this is a good way to back out of changes that you're not sure about. There are hundreds of settings in chart properties, so this video is intended to show you the highlights of the most popular and most often used features. The main tab lets you change the title of your chart, how the background is formatted, and how your tasks are filtered before being imported from your project plan. The Time Axis tab controls the date and time units that typically appear at the top of your chart. On the Calendar sub-tab, you can adjust the start and finish dates of your overall chart. On the Top, Middle, and Bottom level tabs, you can control the units and the formats of each level of the Time Axis, such as years, quarters, or months. The Format tab gives you some advanced options to stretch or zoom certain portions of time or to hide or color code nights and weekends. The Rows and Swim Lanes tab is one of the most powerful parts of Chart Properties. Here, you can decide whether you want to create a Gantt chart with one task per row or a timeline with multiple tasks lined up left to right. This is also the place where you define your swim lane groupings. One pager supports up to three levels of nested swim lanes, which allow you to slice and dice your chart based on any field from your project schedule. Finally, one pager supports up to five text columns, which can show other data from your project plan like dates, percent complete, or cost information. The Taskbars tab and the Milestones tab beneath it drive the default look and feel for the tasks and milestones in your chart. Here, you can set the default shape, height, and border styles. You can also decide how much detail about each task to display. Maybe you want to show percent complete, but not baselines or critical path. This is also where you define how your tasks and milestones should be labeled. What font do you want to use? Should the task names go to the left or right of a bar, or centered on top? All of that is configured here. Finally, the Taskbars and Milestones tabs are where you define the colors that appear in your chart. Instead of hand-painting tasks one at a time, you should really define your colors here. For quick color coding, you can pick a field from your project schedule and let one pager assign some colors automatically. If you want more control, use one pager's patented conditional formatting engine to precisely define which color goes where and when to use certain shapes. Many settings are shared between the taskbars and milestones tabs, but you do have the option to control them separately as needed. If you prefer that your tasks and milestones always behave the same way, turn on the mirror checkbox and any settings that you make on one tab will be automatically mirrored on the other. The legend tab gives you control over the legend that appears in the chart. Here, you can turn the legend on or off entirely, and can configure which panels of the legend are going to display. The Page Layout tab controls the overall size of your one-pager document, 
how it should be broken across multiple pages, if at all, and how large of a physical page size you want to use when you export your one-pager chart to PDF or PowerPoint, or when you physically print it to a piece of paper. The Task Links tab lets you import predecessor and successor information from your project plan and have OnePager automatically link those dependencies together and show those relationships. The formatting choices at the top drive the look and feel of your links, whereas the bottom section lets you control which links you actually want to display. The Field Mappings tab lets you review which fields OnePager is using and to swap those fields out to other fields as you see fit. If you use Project Online or Project Server, OnePager will let you use Enterprise Custom fields as well. Finally, the Advanced tab contains all of the settings that casual users tend not to change, but experts use all the time. Popular choices include the Task Milestone Threshold, which converts short-duration tasks into milestones automatically, the ability to hide empty rows in certain conditions, and expert-level connection options for Project Server and Project Online. As we like to say, tinkering with these settings is key to understanding what they do. Be brave. Make some changes and see what happens. Eventually, you'll develop a muscle memory for where the knobs are to turn and the buttons are to push and to get one pager to do what you want it to do. For more information, please review our other videos or you can visit onepager.com forward slash support or email us at support at onepager.com.